Welcome back. Through this video, we'll be discussing port scanning using Nmap. We'll move on to the practical demonstration. So, in the previous video, we uh, just uh, discovered the live IPs in the network, and also we used uh, uh, Ping Sweep to uh, discover the live IPs. And now I want to know uh, which IP is running with what operating system so and what services are running what ports are open so for uh, uh, scanning the open ports and uh, getting the operating system information or getting the service level informations so in Kali uh, Linux we have a, a very good tool called nmap so even in this nmap you can uh, download and install even in any Windows computer also and uh, in Kali machine the uh, uh, nmap is uh, available by default so here I'll show you how to use the nmap command to scan the ports of the network devices. So you can use nmap and followed by the target IP. Say example, if I'm if I want to scan this particular IP 10.10.8. So let me use the same IP. So when I give nmap and followed by the target IP, so it is going to scan only one IP, and uh, it will scan thousand ports. So out of 1000 ports, whatever the open ports uh, in that machine, so those ports will be listed here. And here we can see, so 986 closed ports. So which means that 14 ports are open in that particular target. And these are all the open ports. So DNS, HTTP, and the Kerberos, and uh, NetBIOS, and uh, KPassword, and you can see all the other ports are open. And similarly, if you want to uh, let let me scan another IP with 10.10.10 uh, .10 so uh, with this you can scan uh, one individual particular target so you can uh, and here you can see uh, it is scanning uh, okay you got the result 995 closed ports which means five ports are open and these are all the open ports in that particular target so uh, even uh, instead of uh, using the uh, ip address you can also use the host name or even you can also uh, uh, nmap to any particular website also say example let me scan www.cometcomputer.com so you can scan with the individual IP or you can scan with the host name or the URL whichever you can use and uh, even uh, instead if you don't want to uh, scan uh, individual IPs you can also scan uh, a series of IPs so once this command is completed I will show you how to use a, a series of IPs So since I'm scanning a public domain name, so where it will take a while to get the result. And here you can see the previous results uh, we got the result in 14.59 uh, seconds the next IP's result we got in 14.58 seconds but for this uh, public domain name it is taking a little bit longer because uh, if it is a internal IP so it can directly prove the target and it can give the result so since this is a public domain name so first the domain name has to be resolved after then the, it has to reach the target maybe the target might be behind the firewall or behind the IDS or IPS so where uh, obviously it will take a little bit of time to complete the scanning
yeah and here we got the result so it took uh, 133 seconds to get the result and here you can see so these are all the open ports in that particular target and apart from this uh, as i said earlier if i want to scan the uh, series of ips so i can use uh, okay if i want to scan between uh, 10 to 5 okay 1 to 5 so uh, what will happen is it will scan uh, ip 1 2 3 4 and 5 so like this you can give a you can scan a series of uh, ips since it is uh, scanning a series of ips again uh, it will take a while to complete the give the result and here we can see the first we got a result from 10.10.10.1 so in that these are all the ports open and uh, the next ip 10.10.2 so which is open with uh, only 53 port and other result is on 10.10.5 uh, so 3 and 4 so those two ips are not available in the network so that's why we don't have the result on that so and even you can also scan the entire subnet so for scanning the entire subnet you can use the command you can give instead of ip you can give the entire subnet so that it can scan the entire subnet and it can give the result so based on your uh, environment's requirement based on uh, whether you are uh, doing a penetration testing for a, a particular uh, IP or a series of IP or for the entire subnet so you can uh, use the command accordingly since um, we, are, we are scanning the entire subnet so it will take a little bit of time so it took uh, 31 seconds to complete and here we can see the result of 10.10.1 and 10.2 and 10.5 and uh, ten and ten dot six, ten dot eight, and ten dot ten, and ten dot two five four. And also we have ten dot seven. So this is how you can scan the entire subnet. And uh, even instead of uh, scanning the uh, all the ports. As I said earlier, it is it is uh, going to scan uh, um, thousand ports. But I don't want to scan all the thousand ports. I want to scan only one particular port. So in that case, you can mention the port number with hyphen p. I want to scan. I want to check whether port eight zero is open or not. So let me give enter. So now it is going to scan only one particular port that is port 80 and here we get the result for the particular port alone so you can see the port state is open so let me try with a different port number uh, which is not available or which is not open I just give port 81 let us see what the result we get And here we can see port 81 TCP it is closed so this is how you can probe the individual ports and even uh, if I want to scan a series of ports so instead of uh, scanning one particular port I want to uh, scan a series of ports maybe between uh, 75 to 80 you can give the uh, series of port numbers like this then press enter And here we can see so these ports are closed and only this particular port is open and uh, also uh, if you want to scan all the ports so where uh, we can use the option hyphen P again hyphen 
So this will scan all the 65,535 ports. So when you are not mentioning the port or port number, so it will scan only 1000 ports, so it will scan all the 1000 standard ports. And if you are being specific with the port, port number, so only that particular port will be scanned. But when you use the switch hyphen P and hyphen space the target IP, so in that case it is going to scan all the 65,535 ports. And we'll get the result in a while. Yeah, and we got the result saying that 65,507 ports are closed, and these are all the open ports in that particular target. And also, we have another option called a fast scan. Fast scan basically it will not scan a thousand ports, so it will scan. Uh, only 100 ports, 100 uh, standard ports, 100 important ports which is uh, regularly used like port uh, 80, port 3389. So only the important ports will be scanned with this uh, uh, switch hyphen F which is called as fast scan. So fast scan will scan 100 standard ports and here we get the result 91 closed ports which means 9 ports are open so only the standard ports DNS uh, port 80 that is HTTP Kerberos port and uh, RPC and NetWires and LDAP and uh, Microsoft uh, DS and also the uh, RDP so only the standard ports are, are scanned so this is how you can scan uh, with the specific ports and now I want to get more information like uh, we, we got the information that what are all the services running I want to know what are all the um, service version so with the previous commands we we got the result of the uh, uh, open ports but I want to know what service is running what, what service is using that particular port and um, uh, what is the version of the port, version of the service to view that you can use hyphen small s and capital V so which will give you the service information again you can be specific with the particular port also hyphen by mentioning hyphen P so when you give this only port 80 is a result will be shown or if you are not mentioning the port number uh, it will list all the uh, it will scan all the thousand ports and it will give you the result of all the thousand st standard ports yeah and here we can see it is running with Microsoft IIS and it is running with the version 10.0 so this is how you can scan the service information and now I want to get the operating system version information I want to know what operating system is running on the target so to get the operating system information you can use the command hyphen O hyphen capital O so hyphen capital O will give you the operating system information and map hyphen capital O followed by the target IP so like this nmap has several switch options so uh, again you can uh, get the complete training of nmap uh, even which will take again a five days training so where you can get the complete knowledge of nmap yeah so on here uh, we got the operating system information we'll just verify the result so you can see exact no exact OS matches for the host so it is not able to find the exact operating system okay no issues we'll try with another IP 
so instead of eight z we'll try with uh, um, five sometimes uh, if your operating system is a uh, newest operating system so where uh, those uh, 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 footprints might not be available in the uh, database and here you can see it does this particular uh, version is uh, that is this particular IP is running with uh, Linux 2.6 and this is the kernel version and if you want to get um, both uh, service information as well as the operating system information so you can use the option hyphen a so which means all so it will give give you the all result including the service information and the operating system information the detailed information of the target so obviously this command will take a long time uh, because it is going to probe all each and every service of the operating system so it will take a while to complete this command and once you press the enter you'll, you'll get the duration percentage completed percentage so 95.65 percentage once again when you press again enter again it will show you the next uh, progress status so still 95.65 percent is done we'll just wait for a while for the result So 99.84 percent is done maybe within another few seconds we should get the result okay so and here we got the complete result so comparing the previous uh, commands so this command will give you the um, more detailed information about the service so what version and uh, all the complete information including the SSH uh, footprints fingerprints so the complete information you will get about the, all the services and even about the domain information and more and even about the uh, database information so it is running with the SQL database so this command will give you more uh, detailed uh, uh, result of the particular target so this is how you can perform the uh, scanning uh, of the targets using the nmap and that's all for this video we'll discuss the remaining topics in the upcoming videos until then bye bye